We're talking about research. All right, now to be perfectly honest, I don't really enjoy research. I enjoy the the creativity and I enjoy the discovery, but I don't enjoy the logistics of it, the finding of the sources, the formatting, citation, all that stuff. So to motivate myself to actually stay on track with getting this paper done, I thought I would take you guys into the process of how I keep track of all the different sources and, and items I'm gonna use. Surprise, surprise, I use Notion to do it. So let's, let's dive into it. Right off the bat, you see accurate description of my mental state oftentimes when I am researching, frustrated that I can't find what I need. Jim Carrey often describes my mental state very well. And then down here, we have surprise, surprise, a table. Now, I just love tables. I love how they look. I enjoy using them. And that's honestly very important. Enjoyment is more important than we give credit for. And then here we have the first three sources I'm looking at. I've just started, so the amount of sources is pretty small. But as you can see, we have a citation for every single one of them. So if we pop into here, musical salon culture in the long 19th century, we have a picture of the cover of the book, just in case I totally forget what it looks, looks like. And then we have a footnote citation and the bibliography citation. The reason why I have both of these is because here at UNC in the music department, at least we use Chicago. So I have those there for reference so I don't have to redo it again. And then also it's great to find things and look them up. It's just good to do the citations right off the bat. And then if we pop over here to a biography about Schubert, which is where I'm starting with my research, we'll see another table, right? This is the info I'm starting to collect. And the reason why I'm doing tables is because the columns of the tables are gonna line up with the main points in my outline. So a main point in the outline is gonna be about the financial pressures that were on Schubert as he was writing his music. So I can look at the tables in each of these books and there will be a column for financial. So if I'm writing and I need to back up this point real quick, I can just look at the table, go to financial and then find the points there. So that's gonna be really, really helpful. I'm actually really excited to use it and hopefully it'll keep it organized. So then if we pop in here and we look at this financial situation in 1826, I have a direct quote from the book. And the reason why I do a quote instead of a paraphrase is because a direct quote is just safer. Because when I have the direct quote in front of me and then I paraphrase from that, I am absolutely positive I am paraphrasing rather than accidentally quoting. And then obviously we have the page number there as well, which is vital for in-text citations and for footnotes. So it's important for MLA, APA, Chicago. It's important for all the different formatting things. And that is how I am keeping track of all of my research so far. Later on, I'll probably take you into how I read the books and how I find the information I need from a massive book like this without having to read the whole thing. And also let me know in the comments and drop a like if you like this new setup. You know, I got, a, I got several different setups here. You know, we got the iMac right here recording, the phone recording, we got a desk and stuff. So let me know if you guys like the setup and I might keep doing it. And join the Facebook group, Jumpstarter Fam. I'm really excited about Jumpstarter Fam. It's really, really cool over on Facebook. We do live Zoom calls over there and hang out with each other and encourage each other and swap productivity tips all the time. So it's really great. Go check it out. It's linked in the description and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.